Now, as we will see, the other quarterfinal matchup between Brazil and Belgium, while on paper it might look a little bit closer, still Brazil, as you saw, is a solid favorite, a little bit more favored than France over Uruguay. But historically, this one is very, very lopsided. Um, and you can guess Brazil is dominating that one. So let's look at a few historical facts. Previous meetings about the five-time world champion Brazil and the one-time fourth place finisher Belgium. Brazil, Belgium. It's play, being played in Kazan for the last time as with Nizhny Novgorod for Uruguay France and all the other arenas in the quarterfinal. It's the last game there, because from the semi-final on we only have matches in St. Petersburg and the Luzhniki in Moscow. It is played tonight, uh, 9 o'clock Moscow time, 8 o'clock Central European time, which also means it's 2 o'clock on the East Coast in North America. So, let's get into it. Brazil-Belgium is not a matchup that frequently happened. In fact, there's only one competitive and three friendlies. The one competitive matchup was a round two matchup in 2002 um, in Kobe in Japan, where Brazil beat Belgium to nothing. I remember the game as one being one of the better ones of that particular World Cup. Wilmots would have scored a beautiful opener with um, a scissor kick or a bicycle kick. Uh, I think it was ruled of sides either ruled of sides or uh, even dangerous play because uh, he got up so high. I don't remember the, exactly the details, but at halftime it was nil nil uh, when it could have been one nil for Belgium. And then, as it so often happens, if you don't put uh, Brazil in a hole early, um, their class just prevails. And it was uh, Ronaldo and Rivaldo scoring, if memory doesn't fail me and gave the win to Belgium, who had a spirited performance, but ultimately were outclassed by the mighty Brazil. Accolades. Well, this is clearly uh, on Brazil's side. Five times World Cup winner, 58, 62, 70, 94, and 02. And Belgium only finished once fourth in 1986. So they won at least match their previously best result. Um, maybe they can go further, uh, but yeah. The quarterfinal is already a big thing for Belgium, historically. Uh, similar continental champions, Brazil is only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 time champion of South America. That is the surprising fact. It's not that they are um, infinitely, infinitely better than Belgium in the, in the regard, but that they haven't won more. Uh, it is because in the beginning of this competition, uh, Brazil was not as dominant as they are now and then i think in the pelé era i think the squad took a lot of hits uh because pelé was more playing in friendlies in europe which got more money than actually winning the south american championship and it's uh, mind-boggling in a way that pelé never won the copa america south american championship belgium on the other hand they made it to the final once in 1980 where they lost to germany Golden ball, also heavily in Brazil's favor. The best play of the tournament Brazil had in 1938, Leonidas, 1950, Zizinho. Despite being on the losing squad, 1958, Didi, 1962, Garincha, 1970, Pelé, 1904, Romario, and 98, Ronaldo is the other one where they didn't win the World Cup. In 38, they also didn't win, but then the Brazil performance was actually considered a sensation and not that Brazil are the team to beat. And um, Brazil also had three times the highest score at the World Cup in 1938, Leonidas, 1950, Ademir, and 2002, the big Ronaldo, not the, uh, I don't want to say Portuguese imposter, but you get what, uh, where I'm getting it. Uh, if you have never, ne never heard of the Brazilian Ronaldo, just look it up on YouTube. He was an amazing, amazing player. Where, because he played for Inter, I didn't like him for a while, but overall, he was definitely one of the best players I've ever seen in his prime, with the ball on his feet, with his speed. Amazing player. Current form. Well, um, let's start with Brazil. 62%. It's kind of Brazil is still getting warmed up. And this is heavily weighed down by the match against Switzerland, where they only drew, which uh, uh, puts a severe damper in Brazil's form. Against Costa Rica, they performed up to par. Serbia, they exceeded the Mexico also. So it gets better and better for Brazil. And we see already with Mexico, they hit the 80% mark. Uh, this is just from numbers. Again, 
based on the, my probability model and also based on the result versus the expected result. So, um, of course, it doesn't take into account how they played. I might have to play around with that. I might give you some more detail on that in a later video, uh, most likely after the World Cup. And then uh, Belgium. Uh, yeah, here we have one that I counted only half. We had them up against Panama already meeting expectations by beating them 3 0, but of course, a win against Panama will not count a lot. Tunisia counted a little bit more, especially since they made it 5 2, which was a higher score than everyone expected. And now, the England result here um, features highly because England was a quality opponent, uh, and actually, in my model, Belgium was. Um, still the favorite team, but when you look at odds, England was the favorite team, and that's why the, this correction factor I have in there put this result really almost at a perfect result. And given that they played all with second string teams, I can somehow understand it, but I still second string teams, therefore this counts in my book not as a full result. And then we had Japan, which was already, it was an expected favorite win, but yeah, 3-2. Uh, not uh, the highest form, but great. So uh, Belgium is at 82%, so a slightly better form, better showings, uh, at least statistically, than Brazil. But this is, again, because Brazil is always the, uh, a favor, heavy favorite, whereas Belgium is not as much. And last, the quarterfinal record. Um, Brazil has 16 top 8 finishes, and I actually lumped them together because there are two numbers to list there, 38, from 5 to 6 to at every World Cup, they finished in the top 8. From 70 to 86, they always finished in the top 8. From 94 to 2018. So only the first two, 1966, where they were eliminated in the first round, and 1990, where they were eliminated by Maradona in the second round, Brazil did not reach the top 8. Belgium has only two. And because there are so many numerous top 8 finishes, I only took the last six quarterfinals, the most recent ones, where we have in 94, a wonderful game in the second half, one gotta say, between Brazil and the Netherlands, 3-2 against Denmark, also a great game, 3-2. The 2-1 of Brazil against England, I remember this was the marquee matchup in the quarterfinals back then, but it actually was more of a disappointing match. It will live on forever for Ronaldinho's lob. England was ahead by a goal there. Uh, never forget that. Then they lost, disappointingly, to France, 1-0. Um, very surprisingly, they lost to the Dutch after being one 1-0 uh, up at halftime. This was the first time that Brazil lost with a lead after at halftime. And yeah, it, the Dutch should have been dead and buried by halftime, but Brazil let them off the hook. The Dutch Snyder scored two goals, one with his head, one a free kick, which was kind of a own goal was helped as well. It was a weird match. Uh, at that time, I was really happy that the Dutch were winning. I mean, the Dutch are one of my Big three. And then against Colombia, they won 2 1. This was the height of Brazil mania at the last World Cup. And then Neymar broke his back and it finished 2 1. And from there, it was all downhill. Belgium, on the other hand, won quarterfinal in 86, 1 1, where they won on penalties against Spain. And then the last World Cup, they lost to an early goal of Iguain. The match was never as close as that scoreline. Um, Argentina just took it easy and it was very similar to the France Germany game uh, as far as I, I, I remember there were not too many chances Jersey matchup stays the same I have Brazil favored with 62% roughly uh, almost 29% chance of overtime as, as I said I, I can maybe see that Brazil could play in blue against the yellow of Belgium but I actually really really want to see this matchup yellow for Brazil Red for Belgium, as they did in 2002. Well, let me know what you think about thought, thought, thought about this preview. If you have any interesting facts to add, how you see this game going, and next video will already be my summary of Uruguay versus France, and I will try to post tomorrow in the morning the two other previews for England, Sweden, and Croatia versus Russia. Until then. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. 
Thank you for watching and until next time.